Breaking overnight, more than a dozen evidence markers show where a teenager was gunned down in Philadelphia. Police say the victim was walking home from work with his twin sister when he was shot and killed. Eyewitness News reporter Wakisha Bailey is live at the scene in Oak Lane with the latest on the investigation. Good morning, Wakisha. Yeah, good morning, Jim. Just an absolutely devastating story. Now, the 16 year old boy was shot and killed in front of his twin sister. Now, the two, they were actually ambushed right here in front of their family's home. The sister was able to run inside the home. However, her brother did not. Now, here's the scene from last night's shooting. Police tell us that they responded to reports of a shooting in the 200 block of East Ferriston Drive. When they arrived, they found a 16 year old boy laying out. On the sidewalk in front of his home. His twin sister tells homicide detectives they, they just wrapped up work at a nearby McDonald's around 10 p.m. and they took a lift ride home. As they were getting out of the car, they were met with gunfire. Now the girl was able to escape, but her brother didn't. Due to the fact that this 16 year old was hit multiple times, over 10 times, in his head, his chest and his back. It appears that he was clearly the intended target due to the fact that he was struck so many times by gunfire. And back out here, police, they have wrapped up the scene probably about an hour ago. And outside of the home, they did find a semi automatic gun from the scene, as well as a McDonald's bag. Now, police tell us that they did interview multiple co workers along with the shift manager, and there was no altercations at work prior to the shooting. Now, you can see just how close a lot of these homes are. And police tell us that they are retrieving surveillance video in hopes of finding the suspects. Reporting from Oakland, Wakisha Bailey, CBS. S3 Eyewitness News. All right, Wakisha, we'll continue to follow that closely. Thanks for that report.